Now to our continuing coverage. Masking is no longer required for most travelers. This news was breaking at this time yesterday. As we mentioned then, a federal judge in Florida struck down the national mask mandate on airplanes and public transit. The ruling leaves it up to airlines, airports, and mass transit systems to make their own decisions about those mask requirements. And we're now clearing up some of the confusion in western Washington regarding where travelers must stay masked up. Cairo 7's Renji Sinha connected with travelers on some different types of transit. Well, the Washington State Ferry System released the information within the last 24 hours that you don't have to wear one of these inside Coleman Dock or inside any ferry terminals now that the mandate has been dropped. For some, it was a cause for celebration. For others, a ruling by a Florida judge against extending the federal mask mandate for transportation is not causing a change just yet. I'll plan to wear my mask. The ruling that, in a sense, ends mask mandates is impacting transit in our region. The Washington State Ferries decided late Monday it would end its mandate, but we still saw people pouring off the ferry this morning with masks on. For me, it feels like a comfortable thing to do in a crowded, crowded place here or on an airplane. Um, you know, I flew into Seattle this past weekend. I'll be flying back out um, later in the week and still plan to wear them. I saw a few people wearing it on the train, but most people weren't, no. Haley Templeman rode the train this morning. Sound Transit has decided that masks will be optional, along with several other transit entities like the Seattle Center Monorail and Seattle Streetcars. Tuesday morning, Amtrak dropped its mask mandate, and for Haley Templeton, now seems like the right time to drop the measures. Personally, I, I mean, I think the mask mandate was great in the beginning of the pandemic, but since things are like kind of settling down, I don't really feel like it's necessary to wear a mask and I don't really wear a mask anywhere. At the airports, the TSA and most major airlines are not going to enforce a mask mandate, which drew mixed reactions. I didn't know that. <laughs> I will do that. Yes, How I will does do that. Feel? Wonderful. We can't act like it doesn't exist. So just to be safe, even though they let our guards down, that's when it'll come back on us. Locally, Community Transit on its website said masks were optional, while Kitsap Transit also said masks would be optional. On social media, Pierce Transit followed suit with a mask optional policy. King County Metro says it will also be mask optional. For some, the ruling brings relief that they can move on some transit without a mask. I'm excited. If you want to wear them, wear them. If not, then don't. Now, even though you don't have to wear one of these inside Coleman Dock or on a ferry, the Centers for Disease Control says you should still wear a mask on public transportation. And health officials say you should choose to wear one, especially if you feel you have a higher risk factor for getting COVID-19. At Coleman Dock, Ranji Sinha, Cairo 7 News.